If I was to give an advice like choosing between radiotherapy and diagnostic, I would definitely, definitely suggest or advise you that you will go for Hi there, if you are thinking of doing radiography, if you want to jump into radiography, you need to be aware of these three things. So radiography has three fields in it. There is interventional, there is radiotherapy and diagnostic, right? I'm not going to share about interventional because interventional is really uh, for doctors. Like you do medicine, then you specialize in radiography, you'll be a radiologist, you get to interpret images, you get to do procedures, different kind of procedures which are found in radiology. I'm going to share about this to radiotherapy and also diagnostic. If I'm to give an advice, like which one should you go for? I would say you definitely, definitely go for diagnostic. And these are the reasons why you should go for diagnostic. First of all, this content is not to discourage you who is doing radiotherapy. You are doing great. You are really, really doing great. Continue moving on and on. This content is just to share with you guys who are thinking of doing radiotherapy, but you are not aware about these things. In case you come across them, people saying about radiotherapy, like should you go for diagnosis and all that, and you get to be lost, like what's happening? What, what are these things? How come they're, they're like that? There are separations in the department right so i'm sharing with you guys that you get to be aware of the market about these two um, parts and also other things so let's get into this so diagnostic and radiotherapy these two are different so diagnostic is all about producing images that are going to help out in giving out a diagnosis like what's really happening to this patient so that's what diagnostic is Diagnostic has quite a lot of things which are found in there, like quite a lot of modalities. So you can check that out. I made a content about like the modalities which are found in diagnostic. You can just check that out, what radiography is all about, specifically diagnostic, right? That's how diagnostic is, or that's what diagnostic is. Then radiotherapy is all about treatment, it's all about therapy, it's all about cancer diseases. That's what radiotherapy is. It's all about treatment, it's all about therapy. That's the difference therapy and diagnostic for diagnosis therapy for therapeutic or treatment right so the first reason why i said you should go for diagnostic the first one is that it's quite wide so diagnostic is very wide like it has quite a lot of modalities which are found in there which you can work with which you can pay attention to which you can try to focus to and you concentrate on one thing that you get to work with this so you get to have a lot of opportunities to choose if it's this one if it's scan if it's or ultrasound if it's ct if it's mri if it's all those kind of things that's the great thing about diagnostic like that diagnostic radiography right then the second thing is that it's really really good when it comes to market like it has quite a lot of job opportunities here in zambia the government has quite the government has quite a lot of institutions or hospitals or facilities which offers diagnostic center like that diagnostic department for radiography so if you're going to be employed in government there are a lot of private sectors which offers diagnostic radiography or radiology right that's the good part so it really has a good market, not just here in Zambia, but also uh, out there that it has more market compared to radiotherapy. So the third one is that's that maybe if you feel uncomfortable being in government or being in private sectors, you can open up your own, you can open up your own, you can be an entrepreneur, you open up your own, you buy your own machine and you start working. That's the good part about diagnostic. For radiotherapy, radiotherapy, like here in Zambia, we only have one hospital or one facility which offers radiotherapy and that's UTH, UTH, CDH, which is cancer disease hospital. So imagine when you are a lot of people, a lot of students who have graduated from radiotherapy and you are in Zambia, the chances of you being employed are quite slim because we only have one hospital and definitely not a lot of people are needed. There will be only a few people. This is not for discouraging you. This is just for information, right? So that's what it is about radiotherapy and diagnostic radiology. These are the difference between these two and how the market is for diagnostic. The market is pretty, pretty, pretty good. So this is what I thought of sharing with you guys about diagnostic and radiotherapy. Share in the comment section if you have anything to share, if you have anything to say, asking and other things, right? Tell us how your country is, if your country has quite, how the market is between diagnostic and radiotherapy out there. How is it? So yeah, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next episode.